is that we trade safe stuff. We trade arbitrage. It's not always the old fashioned way you maybe believe arbitrage to be. In other words, it's not always about arbitrage elements in terms of pure arbitrage. You find a trade in London that's different priced in New York or various other things, and that's pure arbitrage. There is zero risk. We trade what is called statistical arbitrage. And that's obviously slightly different. Statistical arbitrage is, is something where we can make a very short term uh, advantage and uh, we try and look for something that is based around a statistical arbitrage narrative. So when I know that there's a statistical arbitrage opportunity, it may only last for 60 seconds, but I can get a stop in at break even on these trades. I can get a stop in at break even, and if I like to be a scalper or a swing trader, it makes not a lot of difference. I get a lot of questions uh, from people saying about time frames. In fact, you'll see that from people from the webinar series we did uh, last um, uh, last week. A lot of people were asking a specific question about uh, time frame. And, and, and I can never quite get my head around this concept of time frame because uh, trading is trading. Uh, you know, if I've got a short term statistical arbitrage, well, it's a short term trade. If I've got a long term statistical arbitrage, it's a longer term trade. It's whatever you're seeing, it's still the same trade, guys. Still the same trade. We don't change things. Now, one of the key aspects to this is that you've got to be able to appreciate this, that you sometimes get a short term statistical arbitrage in the direction of a longer term statistical arbitrage. And for that reason, you can make an awful lot of monies. So when we look at statistical arbitrage, it's all dependent upon the time frame. Remember, it's not pure. But obviously, one of the key aspects to statistical arbitrage is that we can understand that it is a statistical arbitrage. Take a look at this chart and tell me if you can if you can agree that the R squared on this is, is tight, can you agree that the correlation coefficient on this is, is pretty close to 1.0, yes or no? Uh, if you don't know about st uh, correlation coefficients, I suggest you do a little bit of reading on correlation coefficients before you start this classroom. You don't have to do the math. You just have to know what a correlation coefficient is. It's going to help you significantly to understand the basic components of our classroom. It is institutional grade trading, not retail guff, institutional grade trading. Okay, so when we look at this market, this is what we call a correlation, positive correlation. You'll already be able to recognize some statistical arbitrageable trades. They may well be in the very short term. This is a one minute chart. We can take this down to a 15 second chart. We can take it down to lower time frames. But you can all agree with me that there is a statistical arbitrageable trade right there. Blue lines down, black lines up, straightforward. I can see that there's a statistical arbitrage trade there. Blue lines down, black lines up. On a macro chart basis, I can see that there is also a statistical arbitrage trade here and here. You can see that on a macro chart. The blue line is the same price. The black line is higher priced. This is also statistical arbitrage in these areas. So understanding that, we can obviously look at that and say, right, I've got basically a one minute oil trade that I can buy into and make some money. Assuming one thing and one thing only, assuming oil is extending. If oil is inside a bracket, we understand that that inside bracket move on oil perhaps is not the best opportunity to make some monies. So when I look at these three trade lines, when I look at these three trade lines here and uh, uh, four trade lines, I can look for a statistical arbitrage buyable opportunity on oil. And it only lasts initially for one minute, guys, because this is a one minute chart. These statistical arbitrages do get dissolved quite quickly at times. But let's see if it shows up as a possible buy trade in any of these locations. Now, the ones we were really talking about were the ones that we saw in here. These were the statistical arbitrage. These are the macro statistical arbitrage. So you're buying the down tick. So obviously those trades there are reversal trades. So we obviously understand that they are purely reversal trades. When we look at the individual candles, the candle is here. So when we're looking at the statistical arbitrage, they needed to be at lower prices. They were, remember we talked about oil prices extending. They were at lower prices there and there. So you can obviously start to understand that that extension is a very tradable idea. But look at the individual candles. Now you might be laughing at it saying it wasn't much of a trade, was it? No, you're right, it wasn't. But did it lose money? If you were able to buy $87.93 and you were able to take the price up to $88.03, you'd have made 
$100 profit. And worst case scenario, a stop at break even. Well, you got stopped out at break even and you made $100. So you made $100. You had an incredibly high probability attached to that, guys. A probability in excess of, uh, in excess of 90%. In excess of 90%. What about this buy trade here? You bought into $87.51. One minute later, it was trading $87.61. You made another $100 and another scratch with a massive 90 plus percent probability because of statistical arbitrage. Just because of statistical arbitrage, you are guaranteeing that one minute that you're going to make that $50, $100 profit. Would it not be a really strong feeling to be able to say, the next time I trade, I'm going to make between 50 bucks and 100 bucks? And I'll get my stop at break even with a 90% probability with a stop of maybe uh, 50 bucks. Sometimes a stop of maybe 20 or 30 bucks. Would that not be a really strong feeling to have that knowledge that your next trade is going to win nine times out of 10 or 95 times out of 100? Of course it would be. So when we see these as arbitrage, remember these are macro arbitrage because these were taken on that longer term narrative. You could have been buying this, but this would have been a five minute arbitrage here. This would have been a five minute arbitrage here. And obviously they make a lot more money because it's a bigger picture narrative, right? It's a bigger picture narrative. So when we see these as opportunities, you suddenly start to recognize the quality of these types of information points, the quality of these types of information points that gives us just massive edges, literally massive edges in these storylines, guys. And obviously, as we catch up with the uh, the right hand edge of the charts, we were talking about statistical arbitrage uh, in that phase. We catch up with the right hand edge of the charts and we start saying, did you see any any more statistical arbitrage? And we said, well, did you see what happened in that last one? Take a look. Same principle, guys, same two lines. Statistical arbitrage, do you all see it setting up? Well, there's a statistical arbitrage just in there, isn't there? Right there. There's one there. See it? Blue line goes up, black line goes down. Blue line makes a higher high. Black line is not making a higher high. That's a macro one. That's a macro one right there. Blue line still trading nicely above the black line through that phase. And then the drop off into the bottom edges. Nothing at the bottom edge. No statistical arbitrage at the bottom edge. Two sellable opportunities to make some money on oil. Two sellable opportunities. Let's see what happens. Is, do you see how you could have made some money on those scalps? Yes. You see it? Do you see how you could have scalped money out of those two trades and made some, some basically some spending money for yourself on two minutes worth of trading? So selling into the top edge, selling into this price here, guys, was at 63. The bottom price was at zero. 60 seconds it would have taken you to make $600 per contract. Is that not knowledge that you'd like to have? Is that not knowledge that you look at and go, oh my God, $600 per contract in 60 seconds? You might only have made 50 bucks, guys. I'm not saying it's going to make 600 bucks. You might have made 50 bucks. You might have made 100 bucks. You might have lost 50 bucks. But at least you had the probability stacked up. What about the second sale? The sale came in at 53s. The low price was 34s. That's another $200 before you got scratched out at plus one. $200 on the sell trade there before you get scratched out at plus one for 10 bucks on the second piece of your trade. Two trades, two contracts. Two trades, two contracts. Sell side, guys, $1,200. Sell side, boom, $200. Scratch. If you just hold it for one minute, literally, if you just hold it for one minute, You'd have made $1,200 plus a couple hundred there. You'd have made $1,400 on a two lot over four minutes. On a two lot over four minutes. Statistical arbitrage, guys. It's what we do. It's what we do, guys. Statistical arbitrage. Another opportunity, not really. It's not the best looking one, is it? The value on that is literally one tick wide. Uh, so I don't like that one as much. But if you wanted to take it, you can obviously see if there's a good strong up candle to sell into. You can see it was a massive pin candle. So this would have been a statistical arbitrage during the candle, but not at the end of the candle, guys. Do you see where you've got to use a little bit of common sense? 
you've lost all the statistical arbitrage at the close of that candle right there. There's the close there. There's the high of the candle there. So the statistical arbitrage was up at 55s, correct? Stat arbitrage was up at 55s, guys. It wasn't anywhere else. That's where the statistical arbitrage was, was located. I'll take it down into the lower time frames so you might be able to spot the actual trade itself if it's visible. It is actually visible. It's not ideal, but it is visible, guys. I'll show you. Remember, the bond, the oil price should be into a high print. Remember that. That's important. It should be into a high print somewhere against everything else. So here it is here. You can see that this is a, you can see that into the bottom edge, we get a little bit. Of, this is a five second chart, by the way, guys, five seconds. So you can see that it's a multi time frame narrative. The blue line discounted against the black. There is a statistical arbitrage buy coming in here. It is on the five second chart, $87, two cents. The low price was $86.97. So that was a, a five tick drawdown on that trade. Five ticks. The buy price comes in and rattles to the upside massively for a $500 profit. You can see that blue line switches, and therefore we're looking at that and saying, okay, we're going to be selling $87.50 right there. We're going to sell $87.50. Great wholesale price, measured move on that trade. $87.50 short. What happened? The price traded $87.56, and then it sold away from that almost immediately. And a very, very nice quick profit on that short trade. And a very, very good drop off of that price point. Very good drop. And that's us down on a five second chart. You're saying, what the hell are we doing on a five second chart, for God's sake? We're looking for opportunities. We're looking for value. We're looking for anything that shows up as an opportunity to deal, guys. That's what we're looking for. If we're looking at a five minute chart, let's take a look at uh, any of the chart, any of the trades that set up on a five minute chart. Let's take a look, see if you can spot any. Now we don't, uh, we don't look at prices to try and, uh, to try and, um, because if you look at prices, you'll see things that maybe you wouldn't have seen otherwise. Okay, let's look for the statistical arbitrages in this chart. So this is a five minute chart from 12 o'clock onwards. Let's take a look for stat arb trade opportunities. There's one there. You can see a slight difference in opinion. There is definitely one just here. You can see the blue lines going up, the black lines going down. So there's one there. This is a little bit nasty, but we get a macro difference of opinion here. This one here. Yeah, it's not into a new low. It's not into a new high. It's inside of the previous balance area, the same way as this one is. It's not the best I've ever seen. And then again, this one's not the best I've ever seen here either. But you can see that you would be looking at the possibility of doing something on these trades here on a five minute chart basis. Not the best, not the best. The last two are not the best by any means, but at least you would be looking for the possibility of a reversal in those areas. Let's see how you would have done if you just took them regardless. The first buy trade came in here. You can see the first buy trade came in on this candle here and it did go up. It went from a low price there of 35s, it traded a high price of 40, it went five ticks up, and you'd have scratched out after five ticks. The sell trade, well, that was a cracker. The sell trade came in at 44, and we got all the way down to 84. That's a $600 sell on a five minute chart. The next sell trade came in here at 42. It traded a low price of 10s, that's another $300. A buy trade came in here, and you can see it pinned from that candle, it pinned from the close of that candle up to 40s, that's another $300 profit. And then a buy trade came in here, $86.98. And you can see it's traded a high price of now $87.30. That's another $300 profit on a five minute chart. So you can see these arbitrage trades, very, very visible. Arbitrage on these charts, very visible. Uh, some brilliant, some five tick, uh, five tick winners. But obviously we're starting to get the bigger trades because of the time frame extension. We're starting to see some of these bigger narratives. You can see these arbitrageable opportunities on oil still very, very visible, some better than others, but they all end up getting at least worst case, a little bit of a scratch opportunity. And that's what's, that's what's really important arbitrage is that worst case scenario, you should be able to get either a very small stop, very small loss or a very easy scratch. And then you're back out of the market. So this oil, you've bought into it. You've had a very nice profit. 250 bucks, nearly 300 bucks, and your stops are at break even, hoping that this develops into a possible arbitrageable buy side swing here. Very small entry risk when you enter the trade, 
and a very, very good opportunity to trade on the other side away from this. We have other ways of looking at the oil price, a lot of different things we can look at on oil, but obviously that's one of the ways we can consider. How's our, uh, how's our max bond doing, guys? Anybody? Our max bond, obviously we were buying bonds on max uh, earlier. We can see that buying bonds on max, 154.17 is now trading 155.16s. We are just about $1,000 on the latest max buy, guys. Just about $1,000 on the latest max buy trade on oil and bonds. We had a look at this, we said it was buy side only on bonds, uh, predominantly buy side only in bonds. We had a change of opinion on this little sell here in the short term, but it's been predominantly buy side only with this macro buy in the background from the London market open, this pullback buy here, and we had on the bond as well, you'll be able to see that from max in the background, there it is there. There's the pullback buy trade just there. And then obviously this pullback buy trade just here. And now we're up to 155.60s. Pretty good. Pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, 